Alright, this is the second part of this video. That's Steel X Energy. Steel X Energy. And these guys do work over rig. That's what they are. Sunwell Services and Steel X Energy. Steel Energy. Steel Partners. Hold on a second. Hey, man. Is, uh... Is uh, Steel hiring for, you know, y'all do work over rig here, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Is Steel hiring? Yeah, we're looking at experienced people and stuff right now. So, yeah, pretty much everybody's looking for experienced people yeah. right now. So, uh, you have any experience or anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing coil, and okay. I've, I've, I've been looking at doing other stuff, but I'm, I'm just looking at my options right now. Right. So, I was just wondering, um, I know some guys from steel but i don't know if they're still up in here i mean not steel but sun but i don't know if they're still working up here yeah but i just figured hey, i saw somebody I, I, all yep. i can do is stop and ask yep and there's a computer and stuff in there where you can fill an application and all that and especially if you got a cda or anything like that that always looks good too okay. so yeah feel free to send an app in okay so, where are you from mississippi okay right on hey just i mean i know you ain't from up here because i can tell by that yeah. accent Originally North Carolina, but live in Texas now, so. Hey man, Texas is hot as hell, right? It, <laughs> Bro. it is hot as hell. My wife sent me a picture this morning, and it's got, we live North Texas, north of Dallas, about an hour or so. Yeah. And it's like gonna be like 110 there today. No, we thank don't you. normally get that hot yeah. there. Yeah, baby, but no thank you. I stay up here all day long. Shit. Come on, Canada, keep them fires rolling. Oh, I know, I, I fly home tomorrow, and I'm kind of dreading it. And then next week, we're moving my son into college. He's going to Bama. I'm like, I'm kind of dreading that too. You know, it's gonna be hot as shit there too. So, at least over in Texas, you got it's more of a dry heat. When you get over to Mississippi and Alabama, man, it's humid and it don't yes, stop, sir. bro. No. It does not stop. No, it was like that in North Carolina too. You know, it's just sticky. You know, it's, no, I've been up here a little over 12 years. Yeah, I travel back and forth, but and I've been with Sun this whole time too. But they, man, just buy you a spot, buy you a little acre somewhere, put your camper on it. Ain't no point in continuing to spend spend money i just I'm, I'm i don't got to the point i'm not gonna fight it anymore yeah just find me some some spot that i like and just put me a fifth wheel or something like that on it are you yeah. staying up here now uh in company housing yeah yeah and yeah, we have company housing too okay too, so who did you know with son do you remember uh i think his name was dom but i, I don't know if dom still lives up here because mm -hmm. when everybody got laid off in 2020 mm -hmm. that was kind of you know Half the people didn't come back, and right. they're kind of some of them are kind of are kind of trickling back now. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're pretty busy right now. We've been pretty fortunate, and we've been fortunate to hang on to a lot of people too. So. Yeah. Uh, we've been fortunate to stay busy too. So. I got you. Yeah, man. Go there and apply. You never know. Well, I got I gotta go finish running some errands and take this stuff to the house, but I'll think about it. All right, have a good one. Ah, right, you too. Well, you guys. That is what I have been hearing a lot. They they want the experience guys no more. Because since we're talking about that, and uh, since since we are you know since we are talking about that. Um, I have been hearing the same thing everywhere. A lot of companies are like, yeah, you know, they're, they're hiring, but they're looking for experienced guys. They're looking for experienced people. The reason is, I'm gonna have this conversation with y'all. This ain't a private conversation, but I just, I just wanna be honest with y'all about it. Everybody ain't made for the oil field. UTI Patterson, that's another company. Y'all can see these guys, big gigantic drilling rig setup that they've been had here for I don't know how long the dog thing's been there. That one's been there. This used to be Pioneer. Williston training rig. So this is where you come to do your training at for UTI Patterson. And there's some more companies back off in here, but the conversation I wanted to have with you guys. Here go another one. That's select? No, that's both. 
This vault company, if I'm not mistaken, they do wellhead stuff. V A U L T. One fifteen Well Street. Vault pressure control system. Yep, that's well here. We're gonna go on down the road here a little bit. All right, here's another company. It's called ISCO Industries. This company right here makes uh, plastic pipes. I'll show you what I'm talking about. They make that stuff. And they make different sizes and they make uh, spools of it and they put it in the ground for uh, pipeline jobs and stuff. So this is the company that makes that. This company right here, Will Scott, sells containers, generators, and also sell um, shacks. Get, give you an example. See that shack right there? That. They make those and they service those and they send those out to companies and stuff like that. So that's that's what a whole lot of a whole lot of different stuff that's up here. And I don't know if that place sells shipping containers. That may or may not. Brady used to be back off in here. I don't know who, who owns it now. But, uh... K-Pix. What? Hey, guys, guys. I gotta put y'all onto some game. If you entry level, you wanna get off in the oil field. See that company right there? Called Rogue. You need to go holler at these guys. They do flowback. Flowback is some work. I'm just telling you this ahead of time before you go applying for that. But uh, they put their guys up in uh, company housing on the days that you work, you know, stuff like that. So I didn't know Rogue was back here. I thought they were on the other side of uh, Williston. make this left turn real quick see what's down here and I hadn't been down here in a while I didn't know this company had, had bought this place it's called black gold energy bam black gold energy and uh, I think it's a I think it's just a trucking company but I might be wrong at one time when I was at Patriot, Patriot was looking at um, acquiring this yard, but it didn't it didn't go through. I know they have the whoever bought the yard, the housing and stuff comes with it. So if they're allowing that, black gold. Yeah, these are the guys that broke the Okay. I know who they are now. Now now that I think about it, I actually seeing them bring some stuff to the yard. This is a trucking company. This would have been a good spot to have a oil field service company, but you know, a, a bigger size company, this would have been perfect, but somebody else owns it now. Anyway, back on the road we go. Now this company right here, that is Cactus Wellhead. And you see all that old wellhead stuff they got out there. If they go recondition and service, they'll take it back in there, they'll, they'll rebuild it, they'll put it back together. And that's what Cactus Wellhead does. So you can look those guys up. Capex, I think they only do those uh, those man camp things right there. I think that's all they really do. They recondition those and rent those out to companies. So inside that building is where they're servicing them, going through, re, re, 
you know, doing stuff, maintenance, repairing stuff to these, and they just rent these right here out to drilling rig companies. And they're in a good location because UTI Patterson is right there. So they can do all of that work. And they also rent those right there out, those uh, open top solid things. And LL Wyoming casing. Okay, so that's those guys. Wyoming casing services. Let, let's get on. Let's get on back down the road. Stop this video right here, and we'll keep driving. I got a little time to kill, and stay tuned for part three.